Slogan. What's your slogan? Infinitive wealth. English or Chinese? Strategy. Kim, uh, Choi Jin Young, your group. Same name or just name? Different name. We chose English. English is slower. English slower. Same or different? Same. What single did you choose? We chose sun and horse. Sun, sun and horse. Sun and a horse? Sun and a horse? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How about your uh, strategy? Separate. <laughs> hey, uh, back to you. Yes, what did you guys decide? Chinese and English. English Ultimate luxury journey. The name is the same or different? Same, same, same. Simple, same or different? Simple, same or different? What symbol did you choose? General Hyundai symbol. Same symbol as Hyundai? Okay, slogan? Yes, tell me your slogan. Ultimate uh, luxury journey take from a start from how one. Chinese or English? You can't have both, there's no space. Chinese. Okay. And your strategy? Okay, then uh, how we move? Yeah. Mm? Your name is different. What's your name? Genesis of Dragon. Genesis of Dragon. Genesis of Driver, is that slogan or name? Name. Name. Maybe just Genesis? Yes. Is it in English or Chinese or only, both? Only English. Symbol? Symbol is different. What's your symbol? Uh, our symbol consists of Chinese character and that has a wing. They have a wing both sides. Chinese character with the wing on both sides? Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. That's it? Okay, maybe. Okay. And what about your uh, slogan? Slogan is different. Slogan. And luxury life. English or Chinese? English. Strategy? Separate. Okay, and then the last group. I didn't ask. Yes. We're going to use the same name. The same name. And, uh, Chinese symbol. We make we create our own symbol. What's your symbol? Uh, it has uh, like a dragon. Like dragon. Shape of dragon. Shape of dragon. Yes. Thank you. Okay. What about your slogan? Uh, we we create our own. Yes. What is it? Uh, wise men, people think wisely. Wise men think wisely. English or Chinese? Chinese. 
Chinese, and then over here, strategy. With completely separate. <laughs> okay, so let's just look then at some. There's no really wrong answer, but we can think about what may work better. The name, we saw that the NF, which had the only Chinese name, didn't give the idea of luxury, right? So we shouldn't use, we shouldn't use only Chinese name. Group two used only Chinese. They already tried that with the NF and it didn't work well, okay? So we can say that English and Chinese name together seem to work better, right? We can't, if we just have the English name, it might not be as memorable for the Chinese people. They might not remember the name so well. Okay, so we, we should have the name in Chinese, but English and Chinese is the best one, right? The symbol, we can keep the same symbol because it has like the global, the same symbol all over the world, right? We don't, the symbol, V symbol is kind of luxury symbol. So it's okay, okay? But we could also make a different one. A uh, slogan, okay? We, need, we should make a different slogan, specifically for the Chinese market, okay? Because the Chinese uh, people may have different, we may be aiming at a different target market than another country. They have different thinking, different slogan will be more memorable for Chinese people, okay? So, but the slogan should be in Chinese, not in English. So the two, the groups with the Chinese students said to put the, why did you say to put the slogan in Chinese? Uh, because uh, in China, if you want to attract uh, to more and more consumers, mm -hmm. but uh, the problem is that there are no a lot of people that, who really understand the English. If you just like uh, put the English slogan there, yes. they will just feel confused. They don't know what is talk is going to talk about. So how can Chinese slogan? Are you listening to her? Yes, how can Chinese again? slogan? Uh, it might be better, right? It might be a kind of better strategy to attract more and more consumers. Okay, yes. So for that reason, right? It's more understandable and more memorable. So we have the choice there. We put in the Chinese slogan. And then on the strategy, we saw that half in half. But this is probably the best strategy here. In this co-brand, the equal one. Okay? A little bit more towards this side. The reason is that there, this kind of car is like a silver bullet for Hyundai. So what that means is that it, this car enters the market. Hyundai is not going to sell a lot of these cars. Okay, it's very expensive. They're not going to make a big profit from selling this car. If Hyundai's plan was to make a big profit from selling this luxury car, only this Equus car, then they would use this strategy, completely separate from Hyundai. Okay, nothing to do with Hyundai. Right? Then this car may sell more units. Okay? But Hyundai is not thinking about this car selling more units because the difference may be just 1,000 units or 2,000 units in all of China. Right? So then it may be better in this case to join the brands together, which means that Hyundai's brand looks like a higher quality. Okay? Do you know what I mean? So this make, gives Hyundai brand a higher quality, and then Hyundai can sell more Sonatas and Accents and so on. Okay? So that's actually one of the strategy of Hyundai with the Equus car. Okay? Brand strategy. So if we can put the Hyundai brands together with the Equus brand equally, then it looks like it makes Hyundai look more of a luxury brand. And then Hyundai looks better for selling the more cars, because this kind of one is, uh, doesn't sell that well, right? So we, we have other shops and stores that do that kind of thing, right? They have this really expensive product, but then they, they use this expensive product not to make a big profit, but to increase the image of their brand. And then they can sell more of the mid-level products, okay? So, <coughs> do you have any other question or comment about that? Case? No? Okay, so just we wanted to learn about uh, the difference in branding for the global and the local brand. Should we use the global brand? Should we make a lot more local brand? Okay, when we're doing the branding. We wanted to learn about the brand elements and the brand strategy. And we wanted to look at 
at, uh, in this case, we found out that uh, using the global brand is helpful, right? Because NF, when, we, when they changed the name just to the local brand and just in Chinese, the sales went down, right? So we can learn that having a quality global brand present is useful for companies, okay? So if they have a quality global brand, they should use that to help them to sell the product, okay? And then at the same time, we need to change some things to the local, to the local area, okay? Like the slogan, change to the local area, adapt to the local area, right? So just like we learned earlier about localization, okay? We have quality global brand, which is present, but at the same time, we do some uh, localizing. So then, uh, let's move on to the next topic. So, we're going to talk about product adaptation. So, in your uh, uh, assignment, you also will have to think about the brand for your, right, you have some good, like the Hyundai car, that you have to sell in country for the first time, okay? So you'll also have to think about the branding, how you're going to do the branding. And another important part is adapting. Okay, that's one of the main parts of your assignment. Okay, we're going to talk about product adaptation. How are you going to adapt the product for the market? Okay, we need to adapt many things, but we also need to adapt the product. For example, just a simple thing. Uh, sometimes because of the law we need to adapt the product, right? Like, if Hyundai sells cars in England, it needs to change the side of the driver. English, did you know that English people drive on the wrong side of the road? In Australia. So the car needs to be changed, the product needs to be adapt, adapted. Okay. So, Let's talk about quality first. There's two different types of quality. There's market perceived quality and performance quality. So market perceived quality means what do people think quality is? And then performance quality is like that's the real quality. So they can be different, not the same. What people think quality is might be different than what the company thinks quality is. So an example is the airlines. Airlines thinks quality is we fly you to another country safely and on time. Okay, we don't lose your bags. We fly you to the other country safely. It's a miracle. You fly through the air, right? You don't have any accidents. You get there, you have all your bags and you're on time, right? Airlines think that's quality. But maybe the customers, they could do that. And then the customer complains. Oh, the Wi-Fi didn't work, right? The airline told me that there was new Wi-Fi on the airline and it didn't work put on Facebook, right? They're really annoyed, even though they got thousands of miles to their destination on time and safely. Just they were annoyed because the Wi-Fi didn't work for five minutes, okay? That's the market perceived quality. Or the customer service wasn't good, right? The air hostess was rude. Or the food was bad on the airplane. So we, we have to understand that what the company thinks is quality can be different than what the market thinks is quality. <clears throat> so uh, we can also we have to try and maintain the quality. Uh, in Russia, we had uh, some foreign companies entered Russia like Mars. Do you know Mars and Snickers, foreign chocolates, and they did very well, but. They found that their uh, chocolates were arriving to the customer discolored and the packaging was damaged because there was some damage in the distribution or the supply chain. Sometimes even illegally to avoid the tax, people were selling the chocolates illegally and the chocolates were damaged. Also, the companies were sending some out of date or poorer quality chocolates because it was for the export market. So, the Russian companies started to catch up and pass out the foreign company again. Because the foreign company didn't maintain, they didn't keep their quality. So, 
quality is essential for success, we have to have a quality product. Uh, we're going to talk about later more the decision to standardize or adapt a product is important for delivering quality. And we just mentioned in different countries we have different laws like driving and the video games. Do you play video games? Hmm? Nobody plays video games in Korea? PC games? Like video games, same thing. Yes. Do you play violent video games? Violent PC games? Sometimes. What violent PC game do you play? Shooting zombies. Shooting zombies? There's left for the... Yeah. Uh, what's the name of the game? It's Left for Dead. Left for Dead? Yeah. Ah, I see. Is there a lot of blood? Yeah, a lot. <laughs> so maybe in Korea you can see a lot of blood and the guns, right? But in another country, they don't allow that. Or, or they have an age limit. That kind of thing. Okay? So the video game has to change for the different country according to the different law about the violence. So. Most products have to change when they go to another country because of the different laws and regulations. They have to change something. Packaging. Okay? You have to give the ingredients or don't have to give the ingredients. Okay? So you should find out what if you're selling your product in another country, what is mandatory? Do you understand mandatory? We have to change. Another reason it might be mandatory to change is the weather. Okay? If I'm selling cars from Canada, so GM was selling cars from the US and Canada in the Middle East and they kept breaking down. Why? Because they got a lot of dust. Right? In the Middle East they have a lot of sand. They got a lot of dust in the engine. So their product wasn't okay for the weather in the Middle East. So they had to change the product for the weather. Okay? Or we have to change the tires if it's in a very cold country, that kind of thing. So you will have to think about this too. How uh, what laws and what are the mandatory or physical or geographical reasons you need to change product. Um, also we'll talk about cultural reasons in the next, the next class. Okay. So then let's finish there. Okay. Have a nice weekend.